to all the viewers out there. Make sure you guys sub to Gilbert's YouTube channel right now. Do it right now. All right, peace. Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's Gabe's back with another video. I hope you're doing amazing as always. Today, me and Miguel are at his okay. house, and we're here to solve the mystery of who has the best breakfast burritos. There was a lot of places we wanted to go, but they didn't let us do takeout at this time, so it's kind of on them. They're not going to be able to compete in this, but the oh, wow. five restaurants we do have here are all great burritos, and we're just going to decide who has out. the best one. First, we're starting off with the pantry, then Lotta Burger, Burrito Spot, Baja Taco, Baja Taco and Wex. Yes. In your opinion, who do you think, out of the years of reading breakfast burritos, he's gonna have the best? Honestly, I feel like a lot of people hype up Blake's, and it's good. At one point, it was amazing, but then they just started doing something, and I don't know, I don't really, I don't yeah, like no. Blake's as much anymore. Right now, honestly, I think Burrito Spot is pretty good. I've never tried Wex, that's a mystery item for me. But for me right now, it's probably gonna have to be between Pantry and Baja Taco. I know they got some banging Baja's burritos. Talking. I feel like one of them's gonna take it. I don't know, what about you? I don't know, cause like, since I work so close to the Pantry, I'm like whenever I work the morning shift, I always get Pantry burritos, but at the same time, like I'm always getting Baja burritos, and Baja's burritos are pretty good. I haven't had Wex's burrito except for like in the restaurant. Yeah. So I'll be pretty excited to try it out. The way we're going to do this is we got one burrito from each place. We're going to cut the burrito in half and we're each going to try a bite with no chili, a bite with green chili, and a bite with red chili. After, we're going to rank each bite out of 10 and take the average of each bite and see who has the best burrito. So Miguel can have something completely different of what he thinks is the best and I might have something completely different from Miguel that I think might be the best burrito. So without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> go right to left then right to left all right yeah. let's start with the pantry then i'm pretty excited honestly like and i'm hungry so and i'm hungry <laughs> yeah that, that helps out oh it looks good that's Damn. what we're working with right now that's the pantry honestly bro that looks good dude all right you ready a bite without and then a bite Cheers. with dude. honestly good. dude i think they just put a lot of cheese where it just I melts like in your mouth. Yeah. And, yeah, I love cheese. Hi, it's man. so good. What do you think? Out of 10, what are you going to give that? That's like an 8. An 8? <laughs> yeah. I'll give it a 7. Because I, I have know. high hopes for other burritos. But that was good with no chili or anything. I like it. That was like solid. The potatoes aren't like bad. Yeah. The egg is good. Everything is It all fits together. Yeah. All right, what chili are we trying first? Want to go green? Yeah. Honestly, I love it. That's a good green chili burrito. And honestly, I don't eat green chili a lot, but that was a good green chili burrito. It's like not spicy at all. Like it, or it, it's it's spicy, but it like has so much flavor with it. It's more flavorful. It doesn't have any yeah. kind of heat, so you guys don't have to worry about any heat. It's more flavor. Yeah, it's really, really good, good green chili. It's not gonna burn your mouth or anything, but it's it complements the burrito well. Yeah, because it's just flavorful. All right, what are you giving that one out of 10? I'm gonna say like a seven and a half just because like I like heat personally. Like, okay, that's yeah. That's just me. So I like it if it was a little bit hotter, but the flavor's pretty good. Honestly, so. I think that was a little bit better than no chili, so I'm gonna give that one an eight. But I'm excited for this red chili. Let's give this one a try. Oh, I love red. Ooh, my cheese falling. Fuck. Sorry. Mm. I like red. Dude, that's good. I have that to one say, has a little bit more of a kick, but it still has that flavor. Like, yeah, it's not, it's not like, it's not hot. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. It ain't hot. But like, it does have a little more spice to it, and it is good. I like red. Mmm, that would be good. Honestly, out of 10, I think I have to give that like a, a 9. I have to give that one an 8. An 8? All right, next. That was very good, very good. Great Damn. starting burrito, bro. Now we got Blake's Lotta Burger. Blake's is good though. I like Blake's, but I don't know if they if they got it like that to come out with the W in the challenge. I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be close. The bacon's a little bit more crispy. Yeah, the bacon's a little crispy in this one. That's what it's looking like. All right, let's yeah. give it a try. Cheers. I don't know what side to bite from. Mm. No, I know the difference between the burritos. Honestly, after trying that one... This one's just bland. Yeah. That's all I can say is bland. Like, I've never felt this way about a Blake's Lotter Burger before. It just feels like there's not a lot of flavor in it. I feel like the way with this burrito is, is that they layer it so much, where there's cheese, then the egg, then the potato, then the bacon, that when you're taking a bite, you can taste each layer, but it just doesn't complement well with each other. 
That like like this one. Yeah. Like, like this the, one, you get a bite of everything, and everything just worked. Where this one, I feel like you get a little bit more potato, you get a little bit more egg, or you get a little bit more bacon, and it just kind of. You can tell everything cooked differently because the egg in that one isn't as dried out as like the egg. Yeah. Or like cooked. Say I'd probably give that one a, like a five four. I agree. I, I'd give that one a five as well. Four. You want to try it with green chili? Yeah. Dude, mine's already leaking. Same, bro. Ah, shit. So that one does have a little bit more heat. Like like I said, it's not like anything like burn my mouth hot or anything. I but like, definitely add something because then I like legitimately taste everything after the chili. Because yeah. like, before when I took the bite, it was just everything was bland. It felt like I was eating like a cardboard. I feel like the green chili, it's it's good. It just added a lot more flavor to the burrito. I yeah. Have, I feel like for Blake's, you have to have chili in it for it to taste good. The green chili was definitely spicier than either of these chilies but yeah. i definitely think these chilies have more flavor in them yeah. this one does bring a lot more flavor to the burrito but it's like all around it, it brings the flavor of the out burrito. of yeah it brings a, like the flavor like, out of the without burrito. anything it's just a bland tastes good it is yeah it doesn't pop it doesn't with that pop. one honestly i'm gonna give it like five and a half yeah i just i think it only deserves about a half point more just because the chili was pretty good and it did bring out a little more flavor but besides the fact the burrito is pretty bland itself so. yeah Let's you want to try the red? Yeah. Go ahead. It's the same thing. I agree. With that one, I feel like it's not, like, it doesn't have a kick like the green chili does, but it does bring flavor in, but it's not much more. I, I would give that one five and a half again. I feel like that one was yeah. pretty similar to the green chili. Same. Damn. All right, let's see what burrito spot. We're going to eat, bro. Mac Mac came to join us. He smelled food. All right. Go All right. Burrito spot time. <laughs> Look at mine, dude. Look at mine. Look, Look at that, man. man. Jinx. All right, so now this is burrito spot. And here's a pretty in-depth look about what that looks like. Cheers. You ready to give it a try? Right off the bat, it has way more flavor than a lot of burger. See, the thing I like with this one, too, they use cubed potatoes, whereas, like, we were talking yeah. about with Lauderburger, they use hash browns. And I have nothing against hash browns or anything. I feel like with these potatoes, it brings out so much more flavor, and even the bacon's good. Yeah. I feel like the bacon has a lot of flavor, too. It's like, they didn't leave, like, whole pieces. They cut it up, so it's, like, little bacon bits. Yeah, so you get, like, a bite of everything at once, and I feel like it really worked. I yeah. feel like with just alone with no chili, I'll give that a solid seven. I'll give it, like, a solid six and a half. Want to try it with green? Yeah. I like how, like, well put, nothing falls out. Mm hmm All right. With the green, definitely has a kick compared to the other ones. Like, it's not, like, hot, hot, yeah. hot, but the kick is for sure spicier than the other two, but the flavor of it. I feel like yeah. with all of it together, that definitely helps out the burrito even more. Yeah. It is spicy, and, like, there were some bites that got, like, the spiciness was a little overpowering where I wish that the flavor would kick out, but you do get that good mixture of flavor and, and spiciness. I think I'll give that one a seven and a half. I'd probably give that one about, like, a seven. A seven? Yeah, yeah it was pretty good. It was a solid. Yeah. Solid I, little bite. I agree. Do you want to try red? Yeah. Let's see what, let's see what the red has to All have. right, so it's not chili. It's, like, salsa. For yeah. That, for a burrito spot, but. It's, like, a chili salsa. I don't yeah. know. It's pretty good, though. Those that's really good. Hot. That's good. It just doesn't have a lot of flavor to it. Yeah. Like the red's not hot. It doesn't have a lot of flavor, but it just makes the original burrito just a little bit better. I don't think yeah. it's much better than the green. I think the green was better yeah. flavor-wise. I'm gonna have to give that one a seven. What did you think about that one? It was pretty good. It was like I will give it to it. It was a little bit better than like original without anything. Mm. But for me personally, I don't think it had that. The red didn't really add too much, enough for me to change my answer from six and a half. So you're sticking with six and a half? Yeah. Seven it was a solid two. burrito. Solid it burrito. Wasn't, it wasn't bad. Can't go wrong with it. I mean, I'd still eat it. Yeah, but we're trying but to figure it, out right now who has the best. And right here, Baja. I know Baja has Baja's some banging burritos. Ooh. Dude, that looks good. Look at the inside of that one. That one just looks... Banging too. Look, I already know what's I'm biting on. Look at all the cheese that's in there, bro. I know. You ready? Cheers. Alone? That's a good. Already has a bunch of flavor. I'll take an eight. Maybe even a little bit higher. Yeah, I'll take an eight on that. Mm. I'll agree with that. Damn, that burrito was good. It had a lot of flavor. I feel like with that one, they didn't cut up the bacon or they didn't do anything different with the bacon. It still strips. 
but the bacon which just had a lot of flavor. And it's hash brown. And it's hash brown, yeah. But the egg isn't dried out like Lauderburger. I think it had a lot of cheese, and I, I, in my opinion, I feel like cheese helps a lot. Cheese makes it. Cheese is the greatest thing ever. Mm. All right, yeah, let's try it with green. Mm. I feel like, it wasn't hot. Mm. What do you think about flavor? I'm kind of stuck. Because pantry's green had no heat too. But I feel but like I this, will say pantry had more flavor. I feel like the burrito. green chili had a lot of flavor in this breed in the pantry burrito. This in one, this one, it wasn't hot and it was flavorful, but it was wasn't. I don't know what to put my my finger on. It was like um, I'd still keep it the same as an eight. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would change. stick with the eight as well. It wouldn't change. It but didn't make it worse or anything. It didn't ruin the burrito. It was just not much different from the normal. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But let's try it with red. Maybe the red can save it. All right, ready? All right. I'm, I'm guessing it's going to taste like all of the reds. That's not a thing. Mmm. Oh, Wait a minute. That's different. That's a little bit of a game changer there. Okay. Because the red chili had flavor. Like, it's not hot at all, but it brought nothing but... Like, it was flavorful. Like, really good. I brought out a lot of good flavors in that one. Yeah. I might have to give that a nine. Just off trying the green. Yeah. Or just trying the red. Because that, that was that was delicious. That was really good. I'm giving it a nine. I think it deserves like an eight and a half, nine, yeah. Eight and a half, nine? Mm-hmm. All right. That was solid. I like that a lot. But we have one last burrito left. Let's I've see never if... tried this one. Yeah. I've ne this is a mystery for both of us. So, Wex can come out and just... Spank pull out this. the W right away. Yeah, this is definitely the biggest burrito that we got today. So I, I'll give that one to Wex. Ooh, damn. Is it bacon and sausage? All right, Wex is. I only asked for bacon. If they threw that in there as well, yeah, that's boys, bro. Sausage. I, I admit that there is a lot of egg. That looks like a lot of egg in it, but. You ready to give it a try? Yeah. I think there's ham in it too. All right, here we go. Mm. That was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little worried because it did look like a lot of egg, and I was afraid that was gonna overpower it. Well, the eggs are real fluffy. Yeah, but it was so fluffy, it you it brought out the other flavors like the bacon, the hash browns. That was good. That's a solid burrito. That is a solid burrito. I enjoyed that burrito. I think without anything, without chili, I'm definitely giving that a solid seven. All right, I'll seven and a half. Seven and a half. What are you giving this burrito out of ten? Seven and a half. Seven and a half too. I don't know what it needed to improve on, but that was solid. I I enjoyed that one a lot. Yeah, it was really good. You want to try it with green? There's just something that's not clicking for me. Maybe it's the chili. Ooh, there we go. Mm mm. I'm doing it for me. See, with that one, out of everything we've tried, that green chili has to be the the most did Plain. nothing to the burrito. Like, it didn't bring heat. Just, it didn't really bring flavor. No. It was just like, you kind of tasted it, and you're like, oh, it's there. Yeah. But it didn't do much for, to help the burrito, or it didn't even make it worse. It was just there. That, me, that's how I felt about the red chili. I don't think it really chili. cut it for me. I think I'm going to have to stick with the same seven and a half because yeah. it didn't do anything to the burrito. All right, red chili, don't let me down, too, but I'm feeling you are. This one's a little messy. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, this Compared one. Compared to burrito spot, burrito spot falls is, apart. Yeah. Dip. R.P. This one had a little more flavor, but... Not he. Honestly, with the red chili, I honestly have to say that it still didn't do anything for me. Yeah. And I still got to stick with seven and a half with that. I know. It's kind of sad. Uh, yeah, I, I was looking forward to that. It had a lot so of potential good. off of just the initial bite of the burrito that I thought the ch chili <coughs> might help it. I don't think it did. What are you ranking that red chili out of 10? I'm keeping it the same. <sighs> Well, guys, you guys are going to see the final results right here on the screen. Yeah. Me and Miguel have not seen the winner of this burrito yet. You guys are seeing it now. I'm going to look when we're editing. I, I don't think know if any personal opinion, I think Pantry won. Or honestly, because mm, burrito. Without oh, knowing the totals of the score, if I had to say this was the best burrito, I would say either the Pantry or Baja. Or, uh, ooh. Oh, I would sorry. honestly say one, two, three. Four or five. I love Blake's and everybody that loves Blake's out there. I know you guys are gonna get mad 
But if you guys ever have the chance one day to buy like a few burritos like this, anymore. yeah, Sorry, go home. If you guys ever buy place. a bunch of burritos, try them out, and then you'll realize like, oh damn, this is kind of bland. It's not that great. Yeah. Like there's even plenty of other burrito spot places that we didn't even get to go to because they weren't available. So more room for a part two if you guys would like to see that. Exactly. Leave down below also what you guys think the best burrito that you guys have ever had. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to smash the like button. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. Subscribe, hit the post notification bell to get notified mm -hmm. every time we post it. Be sure to go into the description where you'll find your Habits365 link where you can use promo code Gilbert for 10% off all of your purchases. That's 10%, guys. Go get your That's a lot of money. Yeah. You guys can get some nice clothing. They got some nice stuff over there, so you guys might want to go check that out. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. Until next time, peace. peace. Hey, about to turn a dream to a million, but we don't chase cream, so we feed it to the children. Paint new faces on the canvas as I write classic poems like Sanskrit.